if you want Trump to get the nomination and win, just say that. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about Donald Trump's RICO case down there in Fulton County, Georgia, being live streamed on YouTube. You heard that right. There will be cameras in the courtroom, and they're going to live stream all parts of the case that are specifically related to the state of Georgia, not the federal part. So if anything from this case gets moved to federal court, that won't apply under this ruling. But anything dealing with the state issues, that will be live streamed on YouTube.com. Now, personally, I can't wait. I say running it up. All you're going to do is make Trump that much more electable, in my humble opinion. You're going to give him unprecedented levels of publicity. And as a matter of fact, if you guys are my age or older remember the oj trial the the oj trial was monumental i believe that was the first reality show that it, it was it was polarizing everyone watched it it was something that was it, it was a paradigm shift and actually that's what started the whole kardashian clan <laughs> because remember kim kardashian's dad rob kardashian also, Rob Kardashian's father, obviously, he was a lawyer in the case. So that's what made him be really popular. Then you had Judge Lance Ito, Johnny Cochran. If it don't fit, you must acquit. All that came from the OJ trial. Reality TV, in essence, came from that. All these characters, your Bruce Jenner, they all came from that. Now, what will come from this? I think you're going to see Trump just rise up and up and up in the polling. 100%, 1000%. And before I go any further, check it out. Here's an article from CNN. We're not going to read through the entire thing. We're going to look at this for a moment. Then we're going to get into an MS-13 DNC reaction to the televised trial down there in Fulton County. But you see what's going on. Fulton County judge, that's him right there. I believe his name is uh, Scott McAfee. Fulton County judge gives green light for a Trump Georgia 2020 election case to be televised. And again, they're going to put it on youtube.com as well. Let's check out some of this here. So the Fulton County Georgia judge overseeing the sprawling 2020 election interference racketeering case against former president Donald Trump and 18 co-defendants says that all proceedings in his courtroom related to the case will be live streamed and allowed to be televised. The ruling, however, would be subject to change and would not apply to any portions of the case moved to federal court. In the court hearing Thursday, Superior Court of Fulton County Judge Scott McAfee, who was assigned to the case, said he would make all hearings and possible trials available to be broadcast on the Fulton County Court's YouTube channel. McAfee also said that he would allow broadcast news media to have pool cameras where groups of news organizations combine their resources and share camera access in the courtroom. Now I've seen that before I was in the white house. I think it was 20. It might've been 2019. 2018 was our first time going and 2019. That was before C19 hit where we couldn't actually be inside. We were out on the, um, on the South line. So 2019, there were so many cameras all over the place from all the news organizations, all in one big pool. If that's going to be, in the, in the Trump situation, I, I mean, you're going to have every station covering it. Even the ones that say they hate Trump and they are so anti-Trump, they're going to cover it because the ratings are going to be gold. This, it, nobody in the current pool right now of GOP candidates will be able to compete with this. The level of publicity is going to be off the charts. Some say there's no such thing as bad publicity. Maybe there can be, depending upon what you do in the circumstances. But in this case, there is no such thing as bad publicity. In this case, not at all. This is only going to help Trump in his re-election efforts. Nobody, not Biden, not DeSantis, not Vivek Ramaswamy, nobody will get this level of attention. Nobody. And it doesn't matter if he gets convicted because... Again, you only got to have three qualifications to become the president. 35 years old, 14 years in the country, and natural-born U.S. citizen. Now, 
if he's in the state penitentiary, it's going to be kind of hard to govern, but he probably won't get convicted because he's not been convicted yet. You got two impeachments, beat all of them. He's Teflon Don, in my humble opinion. All right. So, look, neither defense attorneys nor prosecutors appear in court Thursday to oppose the news media's request for cameras. All right. Now, on Thursday, McAfee also ruled to allow members of the media to use cell phones and computer electronics in the courtroom for non-recording purposes, such as note taking. Why? Why block them from recording if you're going to have it live stream? I don't understand that. But I will link to this article right here in the box. And what I want to do right now is go to MS-13 DNC and play some of that because they had a pretty interesting reaction. That interesting reaction, and I want to show some of that. And again, they're already starting to cover it on regular mainstream media. They're already beginning to cover it, and they're going to cover a lot more once they have the cameras in the courtroom. You will see MS-13 DNC, CNN, CBS, ABC, Fox, you're going to see all their cameras in the courtroom recording the trial, covering it, and doing news stories on it every night. And I think they're going to start in October. So in a very short period of time, they're going to start doing this. Now, that might be October of this year or next. I think it's this year. If it's next year, that would be the worst time in ever. But let's check it out. Timothy, I want to start with you and the televised nature of the proceedings in Georgia. Your committee was impactful, made history for many, many reasons. Uh, one of them was the televised nature of the presentation of the evidence developed. Your thoughts about this court order to televise these hearings and these proceedings? Yeah, Nicole, I think it's a really big deal because even though it's going to be the same facts that America has heard repeatedly from the select committee, from very aggressive reporting by a lot of really good journalists, there's a chance that the same facts will resonate more when they are presented in a different forum, right? There, are, I think there are people out there in this country that don't trust Congress because it's politicized. They don't trust the media. They might trust a criminal proceeding where that same evidence is tested by vigorous advocacy on behalf of the former president and his co-conspirators. So if America can see the same evidence play out in that forum, I think maybe naively, but but legitimately, it has a chance to resonate and connect and change minds in a way. No, what's going to happen is people are going to be able to see both sides of the argument. You're going to see the prosecution and defense. And beyond all of that, beyond the facts and the arguments and beyond all that, it's going to be the publicity. He's going to be on television. He's going to be you guys talking about him right now, giving him PR. He's going to be on camera a lot. All you're going to do is just give him a lot of attention. And what someone would need right now is attention. Now, of course, it's going to be quite a bit of negative attention. But a lot of people, a lot of American citizens are going to see what's happening and they're going to understand that he's being unfairly prosecuted. They're going to get that. And it's going to be driven home every single day when they see him on television in court way that maybe some of the other presentations of that evidence did not succeed. Well, I mean, Tim, it's I, I agree with you. And I, I actually think Donald Trump in his sort of primal reptilian survival compass knows reptilian primal survival complex. I don't like her. Who is this lady right here? This is the same lady that spoke about us when you went to the White House. I believe it was 2019 when all the cameras were right there talking about, oh, they were so rowdy and noisy and you know, it was just kind of like, you know, a Karen getting mad at a house party. It's like, well, pardon us. You got a bunch of, you know, 18, 19 year old kids, not me, but a lot of the people that were there are very young. It was a young black leadership conference. Pardon these people for these kids for being in the White House and being excited to be there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry that we just defiled your terrible. But that was it was kind of a dog whistle. I heard it. I heard it 100 percent. And I've not liked her since and agrees with this assessment as well, it makes it impossible to really spoon feed the lie that there's some deep state liberal conspiracy when all of the storytellers, all the narrators didn't just vote for Trump. They worked for Trump and they were willing to do just about anything, not just to help him win, but to help him cheat. OK, so we'll need to see, I don't, I'm, 
like her, I'm pretty much done with her. I don't want to give her any more airtime. I will link to this little panel discussion of five people on MS13 DNC talking about Trump yet again. I will link to it in the description box if you want to see it and hear it for yourself. But as I close, I want to say this. Shout out to Fonnie Willis and everybody out there in Fulton County. Shout out to the judge, um, Scott McAfee, for ruling that this is going to be televised and live streamed on the Fulton County Court YouTube channel. That's going to be interesting. You're going to see wall-to-wall -wall coverage. If it's going to be on their YouTube page, you're going to have guys, you're going to have entire channels that do nothing but react and cover, react to and cover the Donald Trump trial. That's all they're going to do. And it's going to be a lot of viewers all the time. I think that they think in Fulton County, perhaps, well, I, I'm going to say there could be two reasons as I close for real. The first, they could just be doing this out of, transparency i think they also live stream the young thug ysl thing they're also live streaming that so i think they're being fair that way but beyond that i think people like alice camarota ms13 dnc i think that they think what she just said which is when the general public sees all the so-called facts all the figures all the information they're going to be convinced that trump is this bad guy that they should not vote for. But really, you're going to see the opposite happen. You're going to see those of us who want to vote Trump, who don't believe in the media, who don't believe in the lies, we're going to get further entrenched. He's going to be fresh in our minds, and we're going to go out there and vote for him more than we did in the previous election. That's what I think is going to happen. And I think as far as Trump getting the nomination, that's pretty much sewn up in this action is going to further so that nomination right on up. And at this point, it's battle for second place. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? What's your opinion about the decision to televise the Trump case in Georgia? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments below. You guys know where I'm at. This is going to be tremendous for Trump. It's going to help his campaign 100%. Because, I mean, the PR, you can't, you can't make it up. Free PR. You're going to be in court. Your face is going to be on the camera. You're going to have pundits, journalists, people like myself, many others speaking about him every day during a campaign. Now, of course, you don't want him to get convicted. That'll complicate things, but I don't think that he will. You got four different indictments. He'll probably beat them all, get the nomination, and then come 2024 election time, you're going to see him win again. That's I think all signs are pointing toward that. It might be a little bit shaky if not for all the publicity that he's getting. But hey, like I said from the beginning, if you want Trump to win, if you want Trump to become president again, just say that. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that is all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.